the power of God. Look on us. When you're filled and that, that power of God is flowing through your being, you are absolutely convinced that nothing is impossible to you. All things are possible to those that believe in my name. Amen? Amen. See, that's what the Holy Ghost keeps bringing up. If you're a Holy Ghost-filled individual, you'll have that voice just speaking to you constantly. Nothing's impossible to you. Nothing's impossible to you. Nothing's impossible to God. Are we walking in that? Too many of us influenced by past failures. You're looking at what you've experienced in the past incorrectly because God doesn't fail. Amen? Amen. Every promise of God in Christ Jesus is yea and amen to the glory of God. God doesn't fail. We just haven't had the eternal perspective yet to understand what God's really doing. It's not for you and I to determine whether God succeeded or failed. It's only up to you and I to obey. Amen? Amen? And if I lay my hands on the sick in the name of Jesus and pray the prayer of faith and I don't see any immediate results... I've only got one thing to say, and that's this. I believe that when you lay hands on the sick in the name of Jesus, they recover, praise God. Amen? Amen? Well, why didn't this person recover? That's your perception they're not recovered. It's not mine. Well, there doesn't seem to be any change. Well, maybe you need to change the way you're perceiving it. Amen? Because God's word is sure to a thousand generations. Faith is the substance of things. Amen? Ask for the evidence of things not seen. What am I admonishing you to do? Just go out and obey. Stop trying to figure things out. Don't try to justify failures and don't try to boast in successes. Just go out and do what we've been commanded to do and let God, amen, be God.